The Pliosaurids were some of the most fearsome marine predators to ever live, ruling the oceans for most of the Mesozoic and feeding on all sorts of other prehistoric animals. Fossils of these creatures have been found all across the world, from Australia to North America and even from the Arctic. Considering the festive season, we thought now would be a good time to have a look at this Arctic Pliosaurid. It's been a bit of a tradition to do a Christmassy video on the channel for the last five or so years, so we thought it'd be fun to do another one this year, and we hope you enjoy. The Pliosaur I'm talking about is, of course, Predator X, or as it's since been officially named, Pliosaurus funky. This animal has had a pretty interesting history, and received a huge amount of media attention leading to its more commonly being known as Predator X. The Pliosaur was first uncovered on the island of Spitsbergen, in the Svalbard archipelago, during eight seasons of fieldwork by the University of Oslo that lasted from 2004 to 2012. Two different specimens of this reptile were recovered from Spitsbergen during this fieldwork, with the first being found in 2006 and the second one being discovered in 2007. This fossil material was actually only the second record of a plesiosaur from Svalbard, with the only other fossil being described almost a hundred years earlier. The bones that were discovered of the first Predator X specimen included parts of the front of the lower and upper jaws, various different vertebrae, a complete coracoid, the entire forelimb, and bits of the fragmented ribs and gastralia, or belly ribs. The second specimen comprises a partial skull and lower jaw, in addition to a few vertebrae and several very fragmented, unidentified bones. Unfortunately, a lot of the material of the first specimen became highly fractured due to the sediment in which the fossils were buried undergoing many freeze-thaw cycles before they could be collected, meaning some of the bones were in tiny fragments only about a millimetre in size. Plus, parts of the specimen had been moist when they were first collected and actually began to degrade once they had dried out a bit, making the preparation of these fossils quite a challenge. So, although it's not the best pliosaur material that's ever been found, there was certainly enough here for some interesting inferences to be made. And of course the main inference, the one that made Predator X so well known in the media, was its size. Even before the official description in 2012, the paleontologists working on Predator X, who also nicknamed it The Monster, realised that this was potentially one of the largest pliosaurids ever found, and subsequently it was very heavily publicised. There was a 2009 programme on the History Channel about the discovery and excavation of the pliosaur that added to this media presence, as did its featuring in the 2011 BBC documentary Planet Dinosaur, where it was estimated at a remarkable 15 metres in length. In Planet Dinosaur, Predator X is shown preying on the smaller non-pliosaurid plesiosaur Chimerosaurus by stunning it and then attacking from beneath, in a very similar way to how great white sharks hunt. This bit of speculative behaviour was actually not directly inferred from fossils of these animals themselves, but is instead based on the fossil of the plesiosaur Eromangosaurus from Australia, which displays bite marks on its skull that were likely inflicted by a pliosaurid. So it's not impossible for Predator X to have engaged in this sort of hunting behaviour, but considering Chimerosaurus has only been found in England, it's a slightly odd choice to have Predator X attacking it instead of one of the various English species of Pliosaurus, although it's understandable since they would have wanted to show off this new and mysterious giant Pliosaur. Then, in 2012, Predator X was officially described and given a name, Pliosaurus funky. Specific differences in the teeth and the anatomy of the neck vertebrae of the two specimens referred to the taxon allowed for paleontologists to determine that they did indeed represent a species new to science. Plus, given the fact that the two individuals are so similar in neck vertebra morphology and were found at the exact same stratigraphic horizon within two kilometres of each other, it seems fairly certain that they are both members of this single species, instead of representing two separate but contemporary ones. Interestingly, Pliosaurus funky actually has some very different limb proportions when they're compared to most other big-bodied pliosaurs, having relatively much longer forelimbs that also helps to further distinguish this species as unique. The description also provided some more total body size estimates of the reptile, though as usual with fairly incomplete fossils, it's not possible to be 100% certain about them. Despite the early media reports and then even Planet Dinosaur quoting the massive 15 metre length first estimated by the researchers, the 2012 description actually reduced this to a slightly more modest 10 to 13 metre body length. Although both specimens of Pliosaurus funky were determined to have been fully grown adults at the time of their deaths, the second specimen appears to be slightly larger than the holotype. 
Looking at the dimensions of the neck vertebrae for the holotype, a skull length between 1.6 and 2 meters is predicted, while in the second specimen, the skull was likely between 2 and 2.5 meters long, giving the range of 10 to 13 meters in total body length for both individuals. Despite not quite reaching the initial giant length of 15 meters, it still puts this species among the largest pliosaurs known to science. So, Predator X, Pliosaurus funky, would have been a truly fearsome animal in life. With any luck, more and hopefully better preserved fossils of this creature may be unearthed in the future, enabling us to have a greater understanding of this fascinating ancient reptile. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video, and thanks again for your patience while videos are a bit slower than usual for a bit. Ben is currently working on a few exciting things at the moment, which I'm sure you're going to love when they're eventually ready. I hope you're enjoying the holidays as much as possible and staying safe. There'll be a couple more videos before the new year, but I'll wish you all a happy new year now anyway, and thank you all so much for the support you've shown us this last year. The channel has grown so much, and it's absolutely unbelievable to see. A big thank you to our Patreon supporters too, especially our Dinosaur Tier Patrons. Jan Owen, Corey Peterson, Greg Silvernail, Christian Flores, George Wojtek, Persian Boy, Mike Pace, Mayor's World, Droves Free Vastava, Matthias Bergsjö, Amanda von Nordek, Just F. Max, Laura Sanborn, T. Torvinen, Mark Fawn, Dominic Bathy, and Harry Everett. If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us. Merry Christmas.